Now, pupils from a school in Berkshire have become the first deaf children in the world to connect with an astronaut on board the International Space Station. A group of students from the Mary Hare School in Newbury linked up to the research base as it orbited above them at 11,000 miles per hour. James Davis has the story. This is Golf Bravo 4, Mike Hotel, November. Are you receiving? Over. A tense wait for a call like no other. Golf Bravo 4, Mike Hotel, November. This is November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, over. After a nail-biting few minutes, the Mary Hare School in Newbury is connected to the International Space Station, some 250 miles above the Earth. One by one, students from the UK's largest school for deaf children line up to go where no other Berkshire pupil has gone before and ask a question to an astronaut in space. Hi, I'm Zach. What is it like to wake up and see the Earth from space? Over. Zach, looking at the Earth from space, for me, seems like being on a winter day when the outside is covered with snow and there's not a cloud in the sky. So what was it like speaking to an astronaut? I feel inspired by today because it's showing that um, if you put your mind to it, then you can do anything you dream to do and the world is out there for you, no matter if you're deaf or whatever disability you have. I would like to visit Mars and also I would like to visit other planets that haven't been discovered yet. This is my first chance in talking to an astronaut and I was like, wow. The teacher who set up the historic call hopes the once in a lifetime opportunity will encourage pupils here to keep reaching for the stars. I think it's very inspiring. I mean, communication is obviously a, a big problem being deaf, so to be able to take part in such an incredible feat of communication is great. It just shows that anything is possible. The sky isn't the limit for our students. You all just made my day. Thanks for the opportunity to share this wonderful experience with you all, and thank you also for the wonderful questions. Over. Over and out. James Davis, ITV News, Newbury.